Hello everyone and welcome to music class. My name is Matthew Silbert and I hope you had a wonderful break and you have been having a wonderful term so far. So today we're going to look at what we call signs, symbols and cues. Before we get into that, here's a little activity I want you to do. I hope you can read and do what is on your screen right about now. Here. So there are a series of gestures and you're using your hands to clap and feet to stomp. That's it. I hope you can follow the rhythm and do all of that. So I'm going to give you the pulse and you go ahead with it. All right? So here we go. Let's go a test run. All right. So I'll, I'll cue in. So one, two, one, two, three. Let's go. And stop, 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 stop. How many of you made it? Don't tell any untrue to them. Let's try it again. Do one more time. See if you can do it without the gestures. And I'll call them out for you. Ready? And then when we get to the end, we're going to go reverse order. So get to the end, we're going reverse order. Two, three, let's go. And stop, 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 parts of our bodies and in music you well this is kind of representing the sound so we have a sound and we have a symbol to represent that sound in this one particular we're doing clap and stomp so what we're using to represent clap did you say your hands if you said that you were correct oh if you what you're doing for your stomping is feet all right so you can, you can go back and, and do those activities. If it's too hard for you at that tempo, you can slow it down until I get up to speed. All right. So signs, symbols, and cues. So when you hear these terms now, so as I said before, those were the symbols associated with the sound. So we'll get going a little bit more with that. We have things, you know, anybody like pizza? You like pizza? My daughter loves pizza. So imagine a pizza, oval shape, and how do we eat pizza? It's usually shared, right? So you have it shared into parts. So our first cause of mathematics, you can see you cut it in half, you have two parts. If you cut it in quarters, how many you have? Four, and if you cut it into the eating slice, which are eights, you have eight of them. Same way with music. Imagine, so we have what we call a whole note, and this values four counts or four beats. So if we were to clap a whole note, we're not clapping four times, you know. We're clapping once, and we're holding for four. So if we're clapping, we go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Not one, two, three, that's round. One two, three, four. And to keep yourself in check, you can do this with your hand. Just move your hands in motion. So it'd be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's your whole note. The formal name is semi-breath. But we say whole note. Whole note is fine. The next one down, so that's the whole pizza. The next one down, half notes. So if you have two halves, so we have two on one side, two on the other side. So we have one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Hold out. One, two, three, two halves. One, two, one, two. See? Simple as that. The next level is our going quarters. Yeah? So now we have four parts. So each one now gets one. So imagine on the whole note you'd have clapped once, half notes, twice, quarter note, three times, no, four. So we have four of them, four quarters. So it'd be one, two, 
three, four. One, two, three, four. Whole note. One, two, three. Two halves. One, two, one, four quarters. One, two, three, four. One thing to point out is that all of these notes are even. So they're evenly spaced. Notice I'm having each one out of four. So they're always even. The next set of slices, set of slices, we have eight. So we need eight of them. So we're clapping eight times. They're also shorter beats. So you know, as we're going down the line, the beats are getting shorter, but still even. So now we don't say one, two, three, four. We don't call it like that for the eights. So we're doing one and two and three and four and those are the eight so it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and one and two so let me hear ready and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and that should take it to eight of them so eight of them will make the complete set so eight notes so we're stopping there so we have whole notes four Half note values two, the quarter note is one, eighth note values a half. Yeah? So if we put all of them down the line, which you're seeing on your screen right now, so if we're clapping them, listen to our percussive thing in the background, keeping our beat for. So we go one, two, three, half notes, and two, one, two, quarter, one, two, three, and eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one. and four and yeah so if you're clapping them and with all of these music always is not in that you can mix them however we're going to talk about that in a little bit so the breakdown of your notes how each symbol is represented by sound in terms of duration there's another term for that in music that we call rhythm so knowing the rhythm long or short so depending on the notation that you're using if it's two whole notes, how many times that? How many counts? Should be eight counts. If it's two half notes, how many counts? Four. If it's eight quarter notes, how many counts? Eight. Right? So how they are spaced, that's fine. So besides the notes, you know, you can't make sound all the time in music. Music really starts with silence. So each note has a representing symbol that indicates rest. So each symbol, so look at the first one for example. What the whole note rest looks like is almost like an upside down hat. So when you see that symbol, that means that you are to be quiet for four counts. So if you're clapping for four, one, two, three, rest for four. resting for four the next one which is our half note it does look like a hat turned the right way so when you see that how long are you going to be silent for two counts and this one is always a little tricky one to draw so people always say it's a Z or a Z and a C combined so it's a Z C and that's your quarter note rest and that values one, just like the quarter. Your eighth note rest look like a seven, a little number seven with a little twirly thing. And that's if you see those symbols, then that means that you're resting for half a beat. Cool? So whole note rest, upside down hat, half note rest, hat, quarter note, the Z and the C, the C and your eighth, like your seven. So when you see these symbols representing these notes, it means that you have to be quiet for that set amount of time. So if you see the upside down hat, that's for the hat looking like, it's not a hat, but it looks that way. So, you know, you're resting for two and your squiggly one, which is your Z and C, is your quarter note rest, 
and the seven is half a beat. So bear all of those in mind. Good. So let's go to the next thing. So after we have learned all of that about notes and duration, we spoke about signs and so music itself. When we talk about the timing of it. I noticed when we started, I was keeping a particular time. So I was saying one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So music has three different types of time that it can be in. So we can either be in duple time, which means that we're in two, which is one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Or we could be in three, which is triple. So that sounds like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Or we could be in quadruple, which is four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And if you notice where my downbeats are, that's an accent. One, two. That's where my one is. One, two. Two, 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 two. One, two. One, two. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. To make it easier, I could give you some songs that could be associated with those times. For example, you know, twinkle, twinkle, little star, oh, I wonder what you are. That's duple. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, oh, I wonder what you are. Notice, I'm beating the time. I'm not beating the rhythm. If I was to beat the rhythm, it would sound like this. That's rhythm. The time is, that doesn't change. It keeps on going, right until you finish singing, yeah? So don't, don't mix those up. The song that could be used with triple time is, you know, Amazing Grace, how sweet the song. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. One, two, three, one, two, three. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. So, or any triple time in music would feel like a waltz. Ram tu di, ram ta ta, ram ta ta ta. Anything that feels that way is triple. All right, and the next one, quadruple, is. Anything, any probably popular song that you know could be in quadruple. Joanne, did da 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 four quadruple. One, call the next one. Uh, any song. Um, uh, so who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Da 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 da. da. So any popular song you can think about. Use a little triple. This long time I may never see you. Come let me hold your hand for. Long time I may never see you. And so on and so forth. So when you get those type of feel, you know exactly what time you're in. Remember, the time or the beat is different from the rhythm. The rhythm of it. Alright, cool. So next thing. So here's a nice little activity that we're going to be looking at. Here I have a, a whole, well, there are some pockets. So numbered one to nine, I have some representation of our sound in some of the notes that we spoke about. Which one of the notes are up there? Can you tell? If you said quarter notes, an eighth notes, you are very correct. Yes, quarter notes and eighth notes. And we have something else that's interesting there, which is our quarter note rest. So if we were to clap those, and this is another part, we can use utterance patterns. That's what we call them in music. You want to use them to kind of remember the, the rhythm. So let's say, for example, we're going to call all the quarter notes yam. And when we see set up eighth notes, we're going to say dumpling. Simple terms. So it's yam, dumpling. So if I was supposed to clap from one to three, that would sound like this. Yam, 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 yam. Yam, yam, dumpling. 
dumpling, 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 dumpling. So you're not going to clap that wrist because it's supposed to be rest. You're not even supposed to do this. Yum, yum, dumpling, rest. That if it's a rest, you're still making so. So you have to say yum, yum, dumpling. I'll leave it alone. Leave it there. The next one, four to six. So you have yum, yum, dumpling, dumpling, yum, yum. Dumpling, dumpling, yum. Now, seven to nine. Looks a little tricky, yeah? So we have dumpling, yum, yum. Dumpling, yum, yum. Dumpling, dumpling, dumpling. Cool. So here my band's going to come in now with a little music to give us as guide. And we're going to clap all of them all the way down. From one to nine, right? So we're only at the intro. So it's a little bit slower. The tempo is a little slower. You listen carefully. So we're going to get our practice wrong. Yum, 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 dumpling. Dumpling, 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 dumpling. There we go from the top. And go! Yeah, 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 dumpling, 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 dumpling. Four to six, here we go. Yeah, yeah, dumpling, dumpling, yum, yeah. Dumpling, dumpling, yum. Seven to nine, here we go. And dumpling, yum, yum, dumpling, yum. Yum, dumpling, dumpling, dumpling. I'm gonna flip the script on you. Let's go, one, five, nine. Ah, yum, 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 yum. Dumpling, dumpling. Eight, five, two. Let's try that one. Ah, dumpling, yum, yum, dumpling, yum, 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 dumpling. All right, let's try six five four. Ah, dumpling, dumpling, yum, 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 dumpling, dumpling. All right, cool. So you can use this in any arrangement you possibly can. So do me a favor. Right now, can you divide a page, just as how you see there, and put all the rhythms that you see there. Then you're gonna cut them out and just scramble them. And put them in it. Just, just randomly pick and see what you come up with and call it your rhythm or your rhythmic exercise or what it is right and see what you call. and you can put put them more than once so you can create parts so right now we were just clapping making sounds you could put it to another level and add another element which we call pitch so you could put sound another I you know, put actual pitch to it. So it could be la. So it'd be by la 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 whatever it is. Yeah? Right, so see what you come up with and mix it up and just call it whatever you want to do. And see you next time on music. Happy making music. <laughs>